Most people know me as the uh, blogger who makes money online by telling people how much money he makes online. My interest in social media was, how do you make money from this? Some might call John opportunistic. He is certainly opportunistic because he has taken um, blogging, social media, um, all these tools and turned them into uh, a money-making proposition at a time when uh, a lot of c other companies are struggling with that, that whole question. How do you make money on social media? I have created over the last several months over a hundred how-to videos on how to blog. So they, and they range from how to register the domain name to how to write a blog post, how to update the blog, uh, how to do SEO. Normally it costs $97, but until this Sunday, it's $67. But because you're all here, I'm giving everyone, it's free, everybody. When you go to my blog, you see ads from various advertisers. They represent one third of the income. The other two thirds of the income comes from affiliate marketing and my own product sales. Johnshow.com is the 7,000th biggest site on the internet. And considering there's like hundreds of millions of sites out there, it's, uh, it's in the top 0.001%, I believe. Traffic-wise, we get over 200,000 daily readers and followers. The bigger my audience, the more money I can charge for advertising, the more people I can refer to affiliate programs. That's how the blog makes money. We are at Dog Com Fair. Dog Com Fair is a place where we had these cups. My dad shows up the gadget of the week. He does the show off. Dot com folks started a uh, long, long time ago. Uh, every week we just have people get together and uh, just talk about social media events, uh, making money online, that kind of stuff. Started originally in Vancouver, but today there were chapters in Seattle as well as the chapter I started here in Orange County. And currently the chapter in Orange County is the biggest of all the events. I was convinced that there was going to be like a thousand people here. And so it's, <laughs> look, look, we're popular. We're not that popular. <laughs> uh, is it weird that you guys are filming each other? Yes. Yeah, so here come, here come, well, the CBC crew is actually bigger than I thought. Hello. 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 How's everybody? Oh. Ready for some fun today? Is this, are you guys all going to vlog about this? If anybody's uncomfortable with being on camera, just let me know and I won't lie to you. If, 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 if you're coming to Dotcom Fo, be prepared to be on the internet and realize that the internet's forever. What we do here at Dotcom Fo is um, we gather and we share ideas. It's it's something that m me, John Chow, and our friend Carl Nelson thought up maybe about 10 years ago. Those guys come here every week. I would say that John Chow is unemployable, and that actually is his own words. He does what he wants to do, and that's the end of the story. John is really good at making money. Yeah, he have a book too, good book. One minute, I show you the book, okay? Yeah, yeah, this, this book from, from John, very good book, okay? If you want to be a millionaire, how make the money from John? And I sell a book for him, very good one. John Chow is a... Uh, uh, a relentless self-marketer, hugely successful, and all on social media. People complain about me. They say, I don't wear business suits or whatever. My thing on that is, well, you know, you pay for your clothes. I get paid to wear mine. I have two types of t-shirts that I wear. The t-shirt that promote myself, and then the sponsored t-shirt that people, companies pay me to wear. Okay, so uh, today I'm wearing a, a sponsored t-shirt. Plenty of Fish is the world's biggest dating site. Uh, started by Marcus Fine in Vancouver. He started the company so we can learn ASP programming. And it just evolved into the biggest dating site in the world. Uh, they get over 2 billion page views a week. It's, the site is humongous. And he's a, Mar Marcus is a testament to how far someone can take uh, a single idea on the internet and just explode with it. Just do what? John When uh, my wife and I were having our kid, one of the first things I did before we named her, I made sure her domain name was available. www.chow.com 
And so I gave my wife a list of names and she asked me how I came up with these names and I said, well, you know, they're popular, I like them and also um, the domain name was available. Her blog was started three months before she was born. The, uh, the first blog post was a picture of an ultrasound and the title says, I'll be live soon. You know, while most people get a good chuckle out of my story about, you know, Sally's blog and stuff, there was a, a reason for it. You know, I, I'm big on personal branding because johnshaw.com is a brand. And so I felt that uh, for Sally, she should definitely own her own domain name. So it's been consistently making anywhere from $100 to $20 every single month for me. Johnshaw.com started as a personal blog to update my friends and family. Gradually, the blog post shifted from what was happening in my life to how I go about making money from the internet. One day I get an a email from a reader who basically said that, uh, you know, you talk a great talk about making money by blogging, but your blog makes no money. So why should I listen to you? I decided to turn my blog into an income case study. And every month I would post how much money the blog make. This way I would prove that you can make money by blogging. The, uh, the goal of the case study was to make full-time income with part-time blogging. And I defined full-time income as $3,000 per month and part-time blogging as two hours per day, which was how much time I spent updating my blog back then. Because now, as long as I spend less than 40 cents to get a visitor to the blog right. or to get a visitor to that site, I'm in the money. So, so this is the nothing? difference yeah. between a lot of people and John. As, uh, <laughs> seriously, what, what, I, what I hear him saying is he's actually got a business strategy around his social networking. In the first month, it made about $352. And then four months after that, it hit the $3,000 per month goal. After that, instead of shutting down the case study, I decided to let's pull up all the stops and see what happens if we really try to make money by blogging. So the case study continued and basically within two years the blog's income was up to about forty thousand dollars per month. Is there a <laughs> I attend usually about two to three meetups once a week. Uh, SMLCs or social media marketing Owens County. It's definitely the one I attend every week. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. I get to meet a lot of people. Very important to me is how I network because all Going to this meetup increases my brand name, increases my name recognition. I get a lot of ideas from them. They got a lot of business ideas. I also meet a lot of people that at these events, and sometimes uh, we form partnerships and we do stuff together. I feel that it's actually easier to start now than when I started, simply because uh, you know back then I had to create all the infrastructure myself. There was no such thing as WordPress. I mean, I started out by just using Microsoft Front Page to write my first website. Right? And there's those things like content management system, there's those things as like Twitter, there wasn't Facebook, there wasn't right, even Google right, wasn't around yet. Right, right. Right? But if you look at today, with the amount of tools and infrastructure already in place, most of them are free. And I would say the opportunity is much greater now than when I began. Market saturation, I'm not too worried about. I mean, uh, it's like people asking, how much bigger can Facebook get? You know, 800 million users. Well, you know, there's 6 billion people in this world. to check in the cars and coffee. <laughs> and I'm the mayor. <laughs> Me, mayor John Chow, cars and coffee. <laughs> Every Saturday, 500 to 600 cars get together on this lot and no sponsorship, no nothing. They just get together and old cars, new cars, fast cars, slow cars, vintage, exotics. Everyone is friendly. You can talk to people, do, do some great networking because there's a lot of expensive cars here. I mean, there's a lot of rich people as well. Another sale just came in for the, those videos. $67, so here you go. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Oh, let me pull up the stats here. I sent... Last time I checked this, I sent about 1,200 people to that site. So that works up to $700 CPM. And if you look at it, and this is why I love this, because you know, when you look at it from running Google ads, 
you would be lucky if you make five dollars per thousand page views on a Google ad. But yet I have I just created this site that I just received one thousand view and it's making seven hundred dollars from one thousand page view because it just it just had two thousand views I sent two thousand people to it and it made fourteen hundred bucks already. And if this was just a regular blog with just a Google ad, I would make you know four bucks. So that's the power of maximizing your blog's income. Why did I do it? I like his format. I like his beliefs. It's about providing value. Uh, thinking if I can make money doing what I want to do as far as, like he started as a hobby, I'm starting as a hobby and then working it into a business is exactly what I wanted to do. I recently signed up for his WordPress site. I'm a newbie. I'm a newbie. I didn't know anything about WordPress, so I've just uh, used the videos to gain not knowledge. It's an educational related website that I want to build. So, you know, once it is done, I want to um, make it public and then, you know, make money with it. Now I'm going to spend about three months. I'm going to spend two hours a day, about 10 hours a week, maybe 12 hours a week, and that's what I'm going to focus my energy on. If you want to start a blog, you just sign up for web hosting file from HostGator, forward me your HostGator information, your HostGator welcome page. I will install WordPress for you. I'll get the blog set up and running. Then I will email you back your new login and you can start blogging. Now, why I do this is because, well, besides, besides helping someone start a blog, HostGator pays me to do this. So I make money, HostGator gets a new customer and the the new blogger has a new blog, so it's win-win-win. It's and it's, this is a perfect example of affiliate marketing at its best. The backbone of my uh, blog's monetization model is my mailing list, and my email list provider is Aweber. Aweber also has a fantastic affiliate program. They will give you 30% of the billings of the customer that you refer. So when I refer new bloggers to Aweber, Aweber gives me 30% of the billings. So the first month is $1, so I get 30 cents. But then the next month, it goes to $19, and I make $5.70. And if the, as the list gets bigger, my 30% gets bigger. And this is for life. Right? So over the past five years, I refer hundreds and hundreds of other bloggers to Aweber. So I'm making 30% off of these other bloggers. The biggest customer I sent to Aweber, uh, his list has gotten so big now, his bill is over $3,000 per month. And I get 30% of that. And so every month, I'm making over, over nearly a thousand bucks off this one account. And to this very day, I don't know who he is. I mean, I love to find out who he is. I mean, I'll go buy him dinner or something, but uh, I don't know who he is. And, but it's, it's great. <laughs> if you're looking at dollar figure, I would be, well, in the United States, if we call, I would be in the 1%. All right, so I, I'm the people those 99% hate. <laughs> am I living the dream? Well, I would say, yes, I am living the dream. Never in my wildest dream would I could imagine myself being able to live anywhere I want in the world and uh, make money doing it. During the summer months, we live in Vancouver. During the non-summer months, we live in Orange County, California. The reason for that was because, you know, we love Vancouver. You know, Vancouver is our home. We we'll always will be our home. But uh, during the non-summer months, we just don't like to rain too much. So uh, we wanted a more warmer climate. My wife and I, uh, well, she tasked me with the job of finding a new place for us to live during the, uh, the winter and fall. So I narrowed it down to Honolulu, Hawaii, and Owens County, California. Sally, do you think that's an orange or a pumpkin? I decided to move us here to Irvine in California, in Owens County. And one of the big reasons is because, well, the weather is fantastic. But the second big reason is I love cars, and Irvine is the birthplace of cars and coffee. Monetary-wise, it's not that important to me, because you know once you have enough money, it just becomes a numbers game. I mean, just getting the next hundred million dollars just doesn't mean we doesn't mean we anything. Right? To me, uh, success equates to both time and money. I have money, but more importantly, I have time to spend that money on on people and things that I consider really important to me. And that's my family.